Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is actually a bye week for the PGL, the Pokemon Global League, and um, instead of not doing anything, we decided to do a little week 2.5. This is going to be a match against Aeron2420, and um, we just decided to have a little exhibition match. This is going to be between uh, weeks 2 and 3. We um, didn't have an opponent at all, so we just wanted to get this out there. We're not on each other's schedules, so we just wanted to have fun with this, see whatever we can do. Uh, but we will see the Mega Gardevoir, Crabominable, Suicune, Heliolisk, Weavile, and the Needle Queen. So let's see, right off the bat, no Blissey. No Blissey is pretty huge. I've never battled against a Blissey, which is kind of huge. No Lorantis, which I was really concerned about in all honesty. No Lycanroc, no Metagross, no Salamence, man. I prepped pretty darn hard for the Salamence, but no Salamence is huge. I really expected at least the Salamence and the Metagross. Um, so this is interesting, this is interesting. I kind of honestly just want to lead off with my with my Victini. My Victini is Scarfed. Mm. I could also lead off with my... No, I shouldn't do that. I'm going to lead off Victini. Um, I can always U-turn out. Um, this is also my first time ever doing a battle with Cresselia, which is kind of nuts to me. It's honestly kind of nuts to me. I've just never felt really comfortable using it, even um, in my first two weeks. I've never quite felt comfortable building around it. Um, I felt like if there was any moment to try uh, and use it, to try to get comfortable with it, it'd be now. And Cobalion, I've never used a Cobalion until just now. Same thing, I've never quite felt comfortable with it. But, uh, like I said, if there's any time, it's uh, it's now. I did kind of expect the Needle Queen a little bit. Now, I am... I am max special attack modest, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, also, we both built this team within the past couple hours, so it's not terribly, terribly serious, but um, we are both just trying to have fun. So let's see. Um, a modest max special attack Psy Shock. Does in fact threaten a KO, but not comfortably enough where I would want to stay in here. Even to a no bulk Nita Queen, I'm gonna click U turn. I'm gonna click U turn. If it if it gets up um Stealth Rocks, then it gets up Stealth Rocks. I can go straight into the Sand Slash if I really wanted to. Um, it could have the Ice Beam, so I probably wouldn't want to do that. But what I could do, actually. If I really want to be- no, I shouldn't. I was going to say, I could go directly into the Cobalion, but I would never realistically want to do that because Earth Power kind of just bends me over. I am a Rock Polish Weakness Policy Cobalion. Um, I am trying to think. I'm going to go into the Cresselia. I think I'll just go into the Cresselia. And he's going to get up his rocks. I would be really curious whether th this thing has Toxic or not, but regardless, I didn't take a screenshot. Mm. Alright, I'm going to get the bottom screen up right now. Okay. Um, let's see here. I feel like I want to double into my Drapion, which I'm going to do. Uh, I would not be surprised at all if this thing goes for Toxic right now. Does withdraw. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Uh, this would let me get off a knockoff right now. Which I would be pretty keen on. And as much as I would like to click uh, Toxic Spikes right now, the Needle Queen does get invited in for pretty much free. Goes into this. I will knock off the Crabominable. No more Assault Vest. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. 
I kind of want to go back into... I'm going to go back into my Cresselia. And uh, the fact that the Needle Queen didn't want to stay in suggests to me that the Needle Queen doesn't have Toxic, which means that it would it probably would not want to take on my Cresselia 1v1, which means I could probably get off Toxics for free. It couldn't bite in the... Uh, it couldn't bite in a couple things, but... Um, it looks like he would, he wants his Suicune to be his dedicated switch into this thing, which I think I'm fine with. Goes for the Ice Hammer. We avoid it. Okay. That kind of, that does suck. That does, genuinely does suck. But um, we do threaten with Psy Shock. It could invite in the Weavile. Um, but realistically, the only thing that, that I would have to hit the Weavile no matter what would be the Toxic. So I'm just going to click Toxic. Like I said, I couldn't imagine the Needle Queen wanting to be his switch into this thing. Um, I have to imagine a knockoff is coming in. I have to imagine a knockoff is coming in. No, just another Ice Hammer. That's interesting. Um, we are reasonably defensive. Speed does drop. And, um, you will see how, how defensive we are. Uh, I am reasonably curious how offensive this is, but realistically, I'm going to assume that this is just max stack adamant or something to that effect. I don't know anything about Corominable, and I also don't know anything about Cresselia, so I don't really know how these cows generally go, but um, for right now, that's what I'm going to assume. I kind of want to double Toxic. Should I? Hmm. Weavile could come in, right? Maybe I want to double into Victini. I would prefer not to until the rocks go away. If I can find an opportunity to Rapid Spin away... That would be ideal. I'm going to double Toxic. Does withdraw. Again, I don't see him going into the into the Victini. And does go into the Gardevoir. So, not Trace, which is interesting. It doesn't really matter, uh, I guess. Um, he will Mega Evolve in a second. Oh, Synchronize. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Aaron, you got me good. You got me good. I honest to God forgot what its other ability is, but Synchronize is so good. I feel like I just clicked Moonlight here. You could expect me to switch out, right? Hmm. So this is super interesting, right? Depending on how many Leaf Storms I can get off with my Superior, it kind of just wins. My Superior has Yachi Berry, which I don't know if that allows me to take like a straight up Icicle Crash from a Weavile, but um, if it does, if it does, then... If it does, then I don't see a way that he can really stop my Superior. I really just want to click Moonlight. Just to eat a hit, let it take a, a round of Toxic, and then I can gauge from there and uh, decide what I would want to go into. I'm going to click Moonlight. I don't ha really have any move to hit this thing hard with. Um, my entire set is just um, Psy Shock, Ice Beam, Toxic, and Moonlight. I very nearly brought uh, Moonblast, but I don't know. That doesn't doesn't really make much of a difference. I almost brought Moonblast um, to try to hit the Weavile, but goes for a Thunder Wave. Did expect me to switch into something, um, but I'm fine getting my HP back. I'm gonna. I don't mind forcing him to attack me. I'm not gonna do much to this uh, to this thing at all, but I don't think I care. If we give mm, if we give up each other's mons, okay, okay. So here's the thing, right? This Cresselia was made specifically to um to eat up physical hits from the Salamans to prevent the Salamans from being able to um do its thing. And I'm sure something else, but realistically, oh, also just just it's meant to be just a general um physical wall against the stuff like the Lycanroc, Lorantis, Metagross. Things like that that he didn't bring. And it doesn't deal with the Weavile relatively well at all. So 
and it's not really that big a deal against the Crabominable. I'm not too concerned about the Crabominable for now. So Cresselia doesn't really have a role. If I give up my Cresselia for this thing as well, then that would be advantageous for me in the longer run, I think. But um, it's not something I would want to do regardless. No matter what, I'm going to force this thing to stay in and attack me. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. I would be very interested to see if this thing tries to... I'd be very interested to see if this thing tries to predict again and go for a Thunder Wave. But now that I've kind of scouted out a little bit, I'm curious whether Aaron would make that kind of a play. I don't know his battling well enough to really know uh, whether he would make that play or not. I could go into something that doesn't mind being Thunder Waved, like my Drapion, for example. Um, and as much as I would like to bring in my, my, what's this thing called? My Sand Slash. I don't think that that's realistically the play. I think, I think I'll just stay in. I think I... Hope that he overpredicts. I think I expect him to overpredict here. Goes for the hyper voice, doesn't overpredict, it's fine. I think we're okay here. The bigger point here, right, is that I think this allows me to. The bigger point is that this allows me to get a rapid spin off. It does. It would invite in his Needle Queen for free to try and get up those rocks again. Um, and we could play that game where he rocks and forces me to spin them away. Um, so maybe it's too early to make that kind of a play. But realistically, my Sand Slash does not have any, many opportunities to do that, except against the Heal Alisk, maybe? But even then, that's kind of tenuous. I guess against the Weavile, realistically, kind of, maybe? Again, tenuous. Um... I didn't get to gauge any damage at all to see... if this is a slow Gardevoir. Because if this is a slow Gardevoir, then... Drapion could come in. I don't think you would risk that realistically. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think that's um that's a pretty standard guard of warm. I'm gonna go into my superior. And I think I just go for it, man. I think I just go for it. Superior. Let's see what uh, Weavile. Icicle Crash through Yachi does 70 to 83 percent. I should realistically, unless this is, if this is Focus Ash, then you got me good. You got me real good. But I'm just going to click Leaf Storm, man. What else do I do? Does pop my Yachi Berry. And unless we flinch, we should realistically take this. Don't flinch. Oh. Do we flinch? Okay, okay. Good, good, good. And we land it. Okay. So Weavile is his fastest threat out of the way. For now. And unless the... Heliolisk is Scarfed, then I think Superior claims KOs. Needle Queen. We know that it's not an, an Assault Vest in Needle Queen, but Needle Queen has a butt-ton of natural bulk. Assuming max HP Needle Queen. I am at plus four. I should still KO. If it's a max special defense Needle Queen, 
I theoretically still KO. Goes into Crabominable. Does this thing get priority? Let me see. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? I have to stay in here. Or do I? I don't have to stay in here. What am I looking at here? Is he just banking on me missing? Is he banking on me missing? I'm not seeing any type of priority here. I don't know, man. Quick attack? Ice shard? Does not get ice shard. I don't know. I think he's banking on me missing. I think he's banking on me missing. So I just click leap storm. And we miss. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will be the first missed Leaf Storm of the season. We've gone for so many Leaf Storms without missing, and that's going to be uh, the very first of the season. But he did drop his speed. I could give up my Sand Slash right now just to get rid of rocks. Um, hmm. I could, I could actually have no way of dealing with a Suicune anymore. And I was too silly to put a uh, dang like fusion bolt onto my onto my uh Victini. You know what I could do? Let me see. Probomitable. Do, do I take a hit with Cobalion? I don't, man. Hmm, I really don't. It's because it probably has close combat. It probably has close combat. What kind of damage am I doing with Drapion. Um. Oh, that's Life Orb. Oh, we know it's not Life Orb. Right, so if we take away Life Orb, we can take a close combat. But realistically, I think the play has to be to go into Drapion right now. I think the play has to go into has to be to go into Drapion right now. And I think what we do is we get up Toxic Spike. Well no. I can't get up Toxic Spikes because of the Needle Queen. I have to try and Poison Jab. I have to try and Poison Jab. I really do want to get up Toxic Spikes, but I can't. Goes for an Earthquake. We could take it? I don't know. We do take it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I could just click knock off right now. Um, the sweet is the only thing that's stopping my Victini, and hmm. I don't think I'm ever going to get an opportunity to get my weakness policy off with Cobalion. So that sucks. I just click knock off. I'm in a bad spot. I don't like my positioning at all. Especially because my Cobalion is kind of useless before it gets up a rock polish. And it's still max attack adamant. Don't get me wrong, but I'm risking a burn with Suicune. I'm risking a burn with Suicune. And I'm never going to get off my weakness policy, which is what I really need to secure the match. This thing is going to go for Hyper Voice, right? I wonder if this thing is locked in Hyper Voice. I would not be surprised at all if this thing is locked in Hyper Voice. I'm going to click Knock Off. 
Goes for Surf. Okay. Okay. Protects against the potential um sand slash switch in. It's life orb. So what does that mean? I think it means that I get a rock polish up with Cobalion. I think it means that I get a rock polish up with Cobalion. What is a Heliolus? Um, Heliolus has nothing that would activate my weakness policy. And without my weakness policy, I do nothing to the Suicune. Close combat does 30% at most of the speed here. This is a rough position to be in. I think Suicune just beats me. You have my attention. Um <laughs> Let me think about this. Oh, music to my ears. What about a Psy Shock from my team? That does nothing as well. I think Victini is my most expendable member still. I'm gonna go into Victini. Heliolis. Uh. Should I click U-turn? I, I kind of want to click U-turn, expecting the Suicune to come in. I'm gonna click Psy Shock. Brings in the Needle Queen. So, he finds out my set now. And I think he knows, I think he has to know at this point that Suicune beats me. I think he has to know that Suicune beats me, and it's all because of that Miss Leaf Storm. It's all because of that Miss Leaf Storm. I don't know, he could have something else. He could have Sucker Punch on the Needle Queen for all I know. But um, I'm reasonably sure that Leaf Storm would have won me the game. But hey, if this is the way we lose, this is the way we lose. It's an exhibition match. I love Air on to death, so what am I gonna say here? Um, the thing is now, this thing's gonna get up the freest of, of substitutes Call mines, whatever the heck it wants to. But I will have to, have to, have to judge damage based on whatever I see here. I'm scarfed in a side shock. Let's get a sub up, but. But by the looks of it, Psyshock does break a sub. Um... It could be... Max Special Defense? I don't know. Regardless, we can see from the damage on the first Psyshock that we are capable of breaking a sub. We just have to consistently get those rolls. Okay, we are breaking subs consistently. It could not be... It could just not be invested into... Um, into spe into physical defense. But regardless, if I get this thing low enough, then 
my Cobalion can come in and win. Oh no! There's the win. There's the win. Well played, well played. Uh, my Sand Slash was absolutely useless. Uh, let's see here. Can't, I think we should confirm at least that, that this is a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It could be specially a special tank invested. Probably is. Um, man, if I had mm, if I had sword dance on my Cobalion instead of the instead of the rock polish, then I'd be in such a good position. If he has a move that hits me super effective. Then I win. Regardless, I actually do have to click. Um, but Surf might not do enough. We might be bulky enough where we take a couple Surfs. I have to click Rock Polish. I have to click Rock Polish or else I can't take on the Heliolisk. Unless my Sand Slash can take a hit from the Heliolisk. Heliolisk. This is a life orb Heliolisk, but it's a roll to, for us to take a surf. Oh, but no, we saw that it was life orb. We saw that it was life orb. And this is timid. It might even be modest life orb. That life orb might win him the match, too. Wow. Mm, okay. I have to click rock polish. Um, There's no other way we win this game, I don't think. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? Um. Hmm. I was gonna say maybe I can get an Iron Head flinch, and that would ensure a close combat roll, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I have to, I don't know, crit close combat? It was a crit close combat. It was for the roar. It was for the roar, okay. I think we take this. We should theoretically take this. We will be able to take out this Suicune. Um, and then what? Cobalion just has to take a hit? Regardless, we click Earthquake. Uh, we have to take this, but I think we will. I think we should. Oh my god, okay. We will get... the Earthquake off, and I think... I think we should be able to take any single hit from the Heliolisk. All out attack our Heliolisk with Life Orb. Against my Cobalion. We should take any single hit from this Heliolisk. Just because- only because, um, I put so much, um, because I invested so little into my speed because of the rock polish, I invested so much into uh, HP and, and bulk in general that that's the only reason I think we take the, the, those hits from the Heliolisk and the Suicune for that matter. So this Heliolisk, this Heliolisk is going to take us out. And
and uh like i said by all indications we should take any single hit oh wait this thing if this thing is modest and rocks and a little bit of rock damage let's see modest bolts ugh, thunderbolt probably mm. let's see let's see let's see Thunderbolt might actually just take me. Yeah, Thunderbolt probably does take me out. Thunderbolt almost definitely takes me out unless... Um, if this is timid, let's see. Actually, it would have to be timid, um, probably just to want to outspeed my Victini. Guaranteed. Timid, 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 right, timid. Um, no, we don't even take a Thunderbolt. We don't even take a Thunderbolt. Um, this would have to be not max special attack, but it is, and that's going to be the match. I thought we had an opening there at the end after that roar, uh, but realistically, man, that Leaf Storm missing did just absolutely destroy us. Uh, but like I said, this was a match for fun, and uh, I love Aaron Death. This was a really fun match. Um, Co. Show him some love. Um, that was just a lot of fun. I really thought that um, Michael Valiant could do a whole lot of work with the weakness policy, but um, I wanted to put that in position. I also wanted to put my superior in position. I think my superior was in position, but unfortunately, we did have to miss that Leaf Storm. We were on quite a bit of a roll for these first two weeks of the season. If it's going to miss, at least it was in the exhibition match. But uh, we will be back next week with the games that are going to count for the rest of the season. This one doesn't count at all. Hopefully this was fun to watch. But uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you watch again. Yeah.